Okay, it would not be anatomy if we did not talk about vasculature. And while we're, we're looking at this dissection and we're looking at a superior view or an anterior view of the orbit, really nerves and muscles seem to be the star of the show. It is important to note that there are important vascular structures that we want to be able to locate and get an idea of what we're looking at. And when you're looking at this particular view, it is really the ophthalmic artery and the ophthalmic vein that you want to pay attention to. The ophthalmic artery is the typically the first branch of the internal carotid artery. It is usually, and you can see it in this particular uh, image right about here, it's this structure right here. Um, it typically tends to be smaller than the opto ophthalmic vein. So this is the vein right here in the middle. So let's, talk, let's go back to the ophthalmic artery. This is typically between the superior oblique and the medial rectus um, in terms of its location. It is going to give rise to the central artery of the retina, which we'll look, about, look at in a moment. So if you're looking in this region, if it's something that's not a nerve, it is probably going to be a, the ophthalmic artery because it's going to be a bit more medially placed. In terms of the ophthalmic vein, like I was saying, it's going to be located right about here. You do have superior and inferior divisions. Um, what's interesting about the ophthalmic vein is that it looks very much like a vein. It's flat. Um, it tends to not have much springiness to it, like arteries typically do. And it often is a little bit larger than the ophthalmic artery in the orbital region. Okay. So ophthalmic artery, ophthalmic vein. I told you we talk about the central retinal artery or the central artery of the retina. You'll hear it either way. The central retinal artery, uh, you can see fairly clearly here. It is going to be typically the first branch of the ophthalmic artery. So let's go back. The ophthalmic artery is a branch of the internal carotid artery. The central retinal artery is a branch of the ophthalmic artery. So kind of going even to um, the larger structure to the more distal structure. The central retinal artery is only really visible if you cut the optic nerve, and that's what's happened here. So we're looking at a posterior view of the eyeball. This is a cut optic nerve right here. And then right here in the middle, this area I'm kind of coloring in right here, you can see a opening. Um, that's basically where you have cut the nerve and then you've cut the artery and it's going to be hollow because it's an artery. It enters the dural sheath of the optic nerve and travels with that nerve to, to get to the retina in order to supply it. It is the sole supply of the retina. So if you think about having some form of occlusion um, or some so a form of injury to the central retinal artery that has tremendous implications in terms of the retina. So, so to reiterate, the only way to really see this particular artery is to cut that optic nerve um, and look at the optic nerve and see the hollow small portion inside and you know you're looking at artery. Now I wanted to show you this particular view here and let's get our bearings as to what we're looking at. So we're looking at an anterior view of the orbit. Uh, the eyeball has been removed much of the musculature has been removed, leaving just this little um, portions here. Here is going to be the uh, optic nerve. And you do have your central retinal artery in there. It's just not clearly visible in this particular image. But what you can see here is a nice hollow structure. And in this particular case, we're looking at the ophthalmic artery. It's a nice springy uh, structure. It has a bit of robustness to it, even though it's not quite as large as what you'd see in the ophthalmic vein, which you do not have in this particular image. So you can see the ophthalmic artery in this particular view when you're looking at the other, the other muscles in this region as well. So those are the arteries in a nutshell. To give a review, we're talking ophthalmic artery, which is a branch of the internal carotid, the ophthalmic artery gives off the central retinal artery, which you can see within the optic nerve. You do have ophthalmic veins, typically a superior and an inferior division. You don't have to worry so much about being able to identify the difference between those. But the veins, when you're looking within the orbit, tend to be a little bit larger 
um, and the ophthalmic artery tends to be a bit more medial than the ophthalmic vein. All right, thank you very much, and please reach out to me if you have any questions regarding this material.